Hello, my fellow hunters, and happy Clue Day, August 8th, and the hackathon key has dropped. Uh, it's a contest key. It has to do with some dev development skills, if you will, or computer skills for this one, and uh, we'll get into that, but I'm liking the progression so far this week where we've had two keys in a row. It would be nice if maybe this will be a trend where there is one clue or two clues uh, a day, you will, or everyone or uh, every day, if you will, that would work out for me, but uh, we'll take what we can. So let's kind of get into So I plan on doing, uh, before we get into the clue, uh, a weekly update around August 13th in which I will talk about the progression of the game and what's going on with it. You know, what keys have been declared solved by groups since we don't know on the site any longer what keys have been found and um, any game mechanics or any issues or game updates will occur during that period of time. For now, we have a new key that's two keys this week. Uh, one was dropped yesterday, which was the chroma key, and then there was uh, clue drop today, which is this new key called the hackathon key. So let's talk about this particular clue. So uh, the hackathon key clue has dropped. It is called the Cheese Wizards uh, clue. Uh, it is marked available. Uh, April 9th, uh, not April 9th, August 9th is when it's declared that it is dropped. Uh, I guess because it's a different time zone uh, that the game makers are operating in. Um, I noticed it today uh, as a recording on uh, August 8th. So let's talk about the clue. It states that Satoshi's treasure is collaborating with Cheese Wizards, the, worst, the world's first blockchain battle royale with cheese, to provide a party of the summer for the crypto enthusiasts across the globe, the Cheese Wizard Hackathon. Winners get a prize of $15,000 in cash, limited edition Cheese Wizards, and one ST Hackathon key. Details um, at CoinList is another partner here. Um, build Cheese Wizards. It starts Thursday, August 1st, so we are nine days behind. And <laughs> final submission Sunday, September 1st. It's a little weird that they have that. They did this the last time with the Zark uh, development, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. If you go to the link, we get some de details here. So the Cheese Wither Wizards and Clothing Coinless Hackathon. Uh, you can join now. Um, build on top of the Cheese Wizards. Join a global hackathon to build products and businesses on top of the Cheese Wizards open ecosystem. What is Cheese Wizards? Uh, cheese Wizards is the first blockchain battle royale with cheese. Uh, that is the thing now ever since PUBG uh, really popularized it um, and then Fortnite just took it into the next level. Battle Royale games from apps to console to PC are the thing um, that, you know, the kids are really into and people are playing. You know, you got your Twitch stars like Ninja and what's that kid? Bonzoka or Balza that won the Fortnite um, Grand World Tournament. He was 16 years old. He won like $3 million. So, yeah, um, it's, it's the thing. Uh, it's a new game from the creators of CryptoKitties. Uh, CryptoKitties, if you are unfamiliar with them, um, they were uh, non-fungible tokens. They're basically like tradable, collectible, cute little animated like card things that you can breed and build uh, and create more CryptoKitties. They were on the Ethereum blockchain. It actually propelled um, some of the price for uh, Ethereum for a while there. Um, they're still going, I think, strong. They have a pretty small niche community, but there was a bit of a craze there for a bit. Um, and it was interesting dynamic about, there was a lot of discussion with Ethereum and the cryptocurrencies in general about what, uh, you know, what cryptocurrency, what crypto kitties are, you know, um, about the usage of blockchain games and what propels or makes a um, valid blockchain existence, like its purpose, if you will. Um, if you go back to that, it's a very interesting discussion about um, the ecosystem, if you will. So they have another product that they're coming out with here. Uh, the inaugural Cheese Wizard Tournament promises to be the party of the summer for the crypto enthusiasts across the globe. In Cheese Wizards, uh, players either use either 
You use Ether to summon wizards, each represented by a non-fungible token, an NFT. And that's how they get around the whole um, capital gains and financial stuff by making it non-fungible. Um, players use their wizards to compete in a series of duels that make up the Cheese Wizard Tournament. Each wizard summoned grows the tournament's grand prize, known as the Big Cheese. Wizards battle in one-on-one -on -one duels, with the winner gaining a portion of the losing wizard's power proportional to the victory. The last and most powerful wizard in the tournament claims the title and prize of the Big Cheese. During the week-long pre-sale, the, the Big Cheese grand prize grew to over 600 ETH. The Big Cheese will only get bigger when players can once again summon wizards at the beginning of the first Cheese Wizard tournament, currently scheduled to begin during the hackathon. Why hack on Cheese Wizard? One of the blockchain's best qualities is the freedom for anyone to build on top of their favorite dApps, um, all without having to, to ask for permission. Uh, as players are limited from the Cheese Wizard tournament, they're going to be looking for interesting things to do with their wizard. Participating in the hackathon is a rare opportunity to get a qualified and already engaged user base before you even start your project. Uh, build a project for existing, existing qualified and engaged users, Receive membership from the Dapper Labs team and our panel advisors. Any profits from your project generates go straight back to you. Flex your development skills for a panel of industry innovators and investors. Help shape a blockbuster blockchain experience, which like a fine cheese will only improve with age. API powered by Alchemy. And it gets into that. Price details. A diverse panel of industry heavyweights will judge projects and there's a whole host of rewards waiting to be won. So 15K cash, limited edition cheese wizards. Advisory sessions with the Dapper Labs team, a chance for the project to be reviewed by Dapper Labs investors, and DevCon tickets and Soshi Treasure Key for the winners of the first place. I'll, I'll go over some of the points here, but I just want to kind of get into what's going on here. Um, overall winner is $4,000. Two uh, one-hour advisory sessions with Dapper Labs team, a chance for your project to be reviewed by Dapper Labs investors, DevCon tickets for the whole team, and one Satoshi's treasure key. Partners offers include 25% discount on smart contract audits from Sigma Prime and 50% discount from, for six months from Alchemy. Uh, category three winners times threes, $2,000 for Cheese Wizards, one hour advisory, partner offers, uh, Top 10 projects, exclusive cheese or swag, and some awesome Ethereum Foundation swag. Tech Partners Bounties, um, bounty, more details here, $2,000. The Cuber Network Bounty here. So the one that we want to really focus on is the overall winner. If whoever creates the best project could win a Satoshi's Treasure key, plus the cash. Uh, judges here are Fred Wilson, uh, Joseph Lubin, Linda Exe, Joyce Yang, uh, Jose Y. Wong, Arena Sip Simpson, Ali Yaw. Um, bounty Judges, Will Warner, Categories, Resources. So it's fairly, fairly detailed. Uh, they have the Pre-Sale Wizard Guild. They have the Ethereum Justice so you can check on the blockchain. Um, build with a Dapper Wallet. Um, fairly detailed and featured partners here. So. CoinSense, Ethereum Foundation, Alchemy, Sigma Prime. Uh, I ne I've never heard of Alchemy before or OpenSea, but I've heard of these other three here. Sigma Prime, Consensus, and Ethereum Foundation. They're very heavy in the uh, Ethereum space. Technology Partners, some of these I've heard of. Obviously, Satoshi's Treasures on here. Augur, a big, a big enthusiast for Augur. DowStack, Bounty Networks, Dapper. Cuber Network, AppWorks, CoinGecko, uh, Blockchain Gamer. So a lot is going on here. And you're seeing a lot more of these kind of team-ups and bounties. And, and um, this is Coinless's thing where they're pairing all these different Ethereum-based um, project companies and groups and associations to do these kind of hackathons and um, bounties. So Dapper Labs is... It has been pretty much the go-to organization when it comes to these type of Ethereum-based blockchain games. They're kind of the big daddy in the space. They're not the only individuals in the space or company or organization, but they're 
pretty reputable within the Ethereum community. People trust and go to them. Um, so it's a name you probably hear quite a bit. Uh, DApps are decentralized apps. They're supposed to be built on the blockchain, particularly Ethereum. It's basically the, the short acronym for that. Um, this is the Cheese Wizard site. Um, much of the artwork reminds me of Adventure Time. It breaks down like what they're about, their duels, how many players they have. Um, very interesting artwork they got going on here. Very, very pretty, very, I would say, well done, well run site. The Ethereum 606 so far. Let's see what the price is in monetary value. So one Ethereum right now is trading at $216. So you could potentially earn somewhere around uh, hundred and thirty thousand dollars, give or take. It could always go a little bit up, a little down. You know, cryptocurrency markets, particularly in the altcoin sections, even for the big one like Ethereum, um, have been fluctuating quite a bit lately. So they have different types of clan operating here with different, it seems like the uh, neutral wizards are the largest group here. Uh, the duels challenges Ethereum. So it's a way for people to earn Ethereum by playing games and tournaments and building, I guess you could say, their Ethereum stack or power, if you will. And I have a link in the show notes to all of this. So my thoughts on this key are thus. Um, I think we're gonna see more of these contest keys pairing up with CoinList. Um, we talked about that company for the first time around with ZSnark. They've been around for a while. They're trying to build different types of companies and organizations within, or affiliations, if you will, within the cryptocurrency space. I think you're gonna see a lot more of these consolidations as people drill down and actually build the products that are supposed to be associated with Ethereum blockchains or uh, Zcash in the case of Znarks, And um, yeah, I just wish it was like done on August 1st when it's first going on. There seems to be for some reason uh, a delay when it comes to members of the Satoshi's treasure hunt being made aware that there's a key available. Not sure why that is, but maybe it's just an effort to drive more it's a marketing thing to drive more people into the tournament from this game into it or tr create some kind of buzz and vice versa. People that are uh, affiliated with Cheese Wizard finding out about Soshi's Treasure Hunter and getting involved first off. Um, I'm not quite sure, but I guess it really m might boil down to marketing. Uh, this will put some people off because they don't have development skills to this scale, if you will. But people were working on the Z snark thing, and somebody won that first key. So there's a chance here that someone's going to win this key. It could be from the hunters, or it could be from the community, or outside the community, and end up joining this um, game, uh, which I think is good. More people that join the game, it diversifies the uh, the game itself. It allows for you know keys to be solved, more different clans to form, competition, community building, things of that nature. Um, that's all I have to say for the most part. This key is not supposed to be like distributed to September 15th to whoever the winner is or somewhere around that time. Uh, the pair key is the next contest key that ends August 15th. So, <clears throat> so we have that and then of course there's the Chrome key, the checker key, um, that need to be solved as well as the earth key and all the other keys are out there that any new hunter has not made um, to solve themselves or clans are in the process of solving. I hope that maybe later on tomorrow or the 10th if you will that there is another uh, clue or key drop something that people can actually work on uh, right at the moment or now whether it be a geolocation a key or another contest key that people can participate in or a crypto key or logic key something you know people to work on I would like to see more of this progression when there's one key after another after another being dropped and um, for getting this game going if you will 
So this is a Hiroshi Shrive of Satoshi's Treasure Hunters. Uh, this is another Happy Clue Day, August 8th, with the uh, hackathon key having dropped. Um, good luck to the hunters and clans that participate in this particular hackathon.